Welcome back to a brand new video, and today, as you may have already have noticed, we'll be unboxing and showcasing the Fafine Amplagain A6 t that has been sent out to us by Fafine themselves. With all that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright, so here's what it looks like all set up. And the setup process was not hard at all as it came with their boom arm that was included. That is a C clamp to attach right to your desk. The boom arm helps any vibrations that may be picked up when gaming and allows you to position the mic to suit your needs. It's also made of metal, so it's very durable. The body of the microphone itself though has a nice mod finish, but it's made of plastic. And as you can see, there is a windscreen on both the front and the back of the microphone as it's a condenser microphone with a cardioid polar pattern, meaning it picks up audio within a 180 degree range, so it's best to talk right in front of the microphone, as that's where it's gonna pick up all the best audio. The kit also comes with a filter that has a little smiley face on it, if needed as well, but the pre-installed screens seem to do just fine for me. At the bottom of the microphone, you can see the gain knob, which is used to turn your microphone volume up and down without needing to tap out of your game or whatever it is you're doing. And on the back of the microphone is where the Type-C port is to give the microphone power. This mic is also plug and play, meaning there is no drivers or apps needed for it, allowing it to be used across both PC and gaming consoles. The RGB is controlled automatically and gives off a nice calming gradient effect while you're gaming. The only way you can turn the RGB off though is to mute the mic itself. Most people will find the RGB nice though and just get used to it. This whole voiceover has been recorded using my Audio-Technica AT2020 microphone, and now I'm about to switch over to the Fafine A6T for some comparisons for you guys. Mic test, mic test. This is what the Fafine A6T sounds like up close. Mic test, mic test. This is what the Fafine A6T sounds like further away. Now from what you may have heard, the microphone sounds good even when in RAW, but if you want to get rid of some of the background noises, you're going to have to add some filters in your recording softwares, like I just did now. I'm liking this microphone a lot though. It sounds similar to my Audio-Technica in AT2020 when listening back to it. We'll definitely be using this one for some more voiceovers in other videos as well.
So do you find that this microphone is worth it? I find that this microphone kit is a great budget friendly microphone as it only comes out at $80 in Canadian currency and has a boom arm included. You want to try and save yourself like 20 bucks though, you can cheap out some more and get the Fafine A6T without the boom arm and just a little tripod for around 50 bucks. This microphone is also available in black, white, and pink as well, and the link will be included down in the description below. Also just want to say thank you to Fafine for making this video possible, and also want to say thank you to you guys for watching the video, and I hope to see you in the next one.